What's up, man? It's Jim. Hey, what's up, guys? We are here with a PlayStation 4 controller. And if you're anything like me, you probably play pretty hard. <laughs> that happens. That's my analog stick, guys. Both of them are peeling off pretty bad. And if you guys remember a few months ago, I got those, like, Gorilla Grips or whatever they were called from um, GameStop. But they only lasted a little bit, too. So right now, what we're going to do is going to do a makeshift repair. We went on eBay and we bought some, um, what are these, analog re replacement? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there were like two dollars for ten, so I got a pack of ten from China. It took about like three weeks for them to come, but I don't care. It's only two bucks, so let's go ahead and install it. Jim's gonna do all the hard work. I'm gonna be the cameraman. So well, these are four screws. One I already took out two. But yeah. And then the last two were right here. Yeah. Yeah, you guys can tell that I use my controller a lot because um, even the serial code is <laughs> gone. <laughs> Serial code is gone. Now, um, on my channel, I do have videos of me opening and repairing um, PlayStation 3 controllers, but I've actually never opened a PS4 controller, so this is new for me as well. And another little situation, too, guys. My PS4 got rained on the other day, so I don't know if my PS4 is okay. Uh, I need to plug it in and see if it's all good, but yeah. After you get those two out, these just snap, snap out, <laughs> and then you're able to take it out. surprise at all. Get some better light. And this part, you gotta be careful. The wire. The this is cable. for the LED light that yeah. goes from the triangle. So don't just pull it apart. Yeah, just take that out slowly, then you got it out. Mm -hmm. And now... So, uh, let me ask this question. So if somebody was really annoyed by the LED light, could they technically open the controller and just unplug that? Then they wouldn't have to deal with the LED light anymore, right? It would save power. Or would it well, not I, work? I never tried it like that, so I'm I know this is the USB to charge it as well. Ooh, so that all all that one ribbon cable does power and everything. So you might get a little screwed there. Okay, I uh, might not be able to bypass that. So what are you doing right now? Yeah, take this off. It's a little plastic. Thing, right? Basically separating the motherboard and the um. Yeah. Yeah. There's two clips on the right here that you can pull it out. All right. And now you have one screw that holds down the motherboard. That out. Make sure you unclip this ribbon cable. This is for the trackpad in front. Then voila, you're at the dump sticks. Yep, just pop them off. It pops right out. One, two, now the new one. Do those feel like real dump sticks? I mean, you yeah, feel good? Yeah, uh -huh. it feels Might not be very very focused, guys, but yeah, there you go. This feels fine. Yeah, I did see some of them that even come with different colors. Like they they you can make them all different types of ways. Yeah, I don't need all that. No rapid fire in this control, guys. We're keeping this simple. <laughs> do they even have rapid fire PS4 controllers? They do. Okay. Okay. How? I haven't tried learning. Oh, it's about to ask you if it uses a chip or it's like... Check, double check all the buttons and make sure... Let me feel... Yeah, I feel good. They feel new. <laughs> they feel newer than the crap I had before, which was, well, you know, this messed up crap. Also, guys, right now I'm still recording with my cell phone, and by tomorrow I will have the GoPro. And I guess while we're here, too, I guess I should do the kind of like a little unboxing. Um, I have a big box right here, and there's some stuff relating to the GoPro camera. Springs. So here is a tripod. This is a tripod one. So this is a tripod kit right here, guys. So this is like a big, tall tripod. It's going to be looking good. I'm going to be going to a, a nice outdoor park tomorrow to take some videos to test it out. We got a HDMI. He, he's just putting it back together, guys. So that's nothing simple. Putting the spring, so that's all he's doing right now. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, don't lose that little tiny spring. Don't lose that. We should probably mention that. There are spring, some. You need the spring so it can bounce back up. Yeah. Um, here we got some HDMI cable. So it's a mini HDMI. It's a big HDMI. This is for the GoPro camera specifically. Um, the point of this is to actually be able to use the GoPro camera as a webcam. Many people don't know that, but if you have the right equipment, you can use a GoPro as a webcam instead of just using it as a normal camera. 
and then we have a big long ass pole what this is this is a bit like basically a selfie stick and it's extremely long so it's gonna go into frame right now yep it could three clips right there so it could extend pretty damn long and of course it has the um part where you attach the GoPro on it and all that good stuff all right all right, we're back with a little quick little jump cut. Um, as you guys can see, here's some of the other stuff for the GoPro. We got another type of tripod. This tripod basically grips onto like anything. So let's say if I put it on Jem's hand, it would grip around his hand and then connect around. And there you go, as you guys will see. And, <laughs> and then we have, um, this is a mini tripod kit that comes with accessories. It actually comes with a, a screen cleaning kit, some uh, screen protector. A memory card holder and a bunch of other things. I'll open it up and just show you guys what's in there. While Jem squeeze everything back in for the PS4 controller. So here's the other mini tripod, and I'm very happy I got this mini tripod because sometimes you want a tripod that could go very low. So this would actually work out pretty well. I'm probably gonna be using this one the most and I'll be using the big one right here when I go out this stick I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use it because it's way bigger than I expected like I don't need something this long because I ain't gonna be snowboarding anytime soon guys it's, it ain't gonna be happening so this one looks pretty cool seems good yep 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 yeah they feel good feel really good backup, so. well those are yours you can keep those in case you need to do repairs or something I don't what am I gonna I mean, I'm sure I'm going to break them again, but I'm pretty sure you're not going to run out of those anytime soon either ways. Um, anything else in here? Oh, yeah, let me show you something. You know? So this is kind of weird. You ever seen this before? Like, make your own, like, um, screen protectors? You cut it to shape. Yeah, you cut it to shape, and then you make your own. Here's a little baggie that comes with it, and some fluid to actually clean your screen. I'm going to try this out. I want to see how well this works. I should have tried it on my phone. And actually, my phone broke again, guys. Like, if you guys could see it right here. I don't know how... Like, when did it happen? When? There's a case. Ugh, gosh. All right, guys. We're out of here. Peace out. Fix your controllers.